What's up guys, it's Sammy Cheese here, back with another video, and on today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a scrolling racing game in Scratch. Right now, I'll put a preview on screen of the racing game. And this game only contains two sprites, so it's pretty easy to code. Anyways, let's get started. And once you're in the project editor, just get rid of the Scratch Cat, and go to your backdrops, and click on backdrops, click on the square tool, Set your outline to zero and set your fill to a grass color. And then just draw a square over this white section. And now it should look like this. Now this is your background for the game, or AKA the grass. And once your grass is done, just make a new sprite. And this will be the car. And after you're done with your car costume, just go into code and start off with event, one green flag clicked, motion, go to X, zero, Y, zero, point interaction, negative 90, Put that there. Looks, set size to 100%. Go to front layer, show, then go into control, grab a forever loop and put this under this code. And then grab an if then else block and put that inside the forever loop. Then go under operators, grab an or block and put this inside the if portion of the if then block. Then go into sensing and grab a key, changes to left arrow pressed or key A pressed. And then go into motion and grab a turn left, changes to six degrees. And once you're done with this code, just duplicate this if then block, just like that, and change the turn left six degrees to a turn right six degrees. And change the left arrow key to a right arrow key and change the A key to a D key. And then drag this inside the forever loop, just like that. And that is your first script done. Now this script just sets up the car and it makes it able to turn left and right. And now let's code the track. So make a new sprite, go into costumes, and for your first costume, go to the paintbrush, change it to one and just put a dot. And after that, make a new costume. And inside this costume, all you wanna do is just paint a track. And once you're done making your track, go to code and go into event and grab a one green flag click block and put that right there. And then go into variables and make a variable called speed and then press OK. And after that setup, go into looks and grab a switch costume two, change this to costume one, AKA the dot, set size two, change this to 700, and then switch costume two, your track, just like that, and put this on here. And all the script is doing is just making the dot really big and then it's switching to the race car track so the race car track becomes very big. And let's continue coding. So go into motion and grab a set rotation style, don't rotate, drag that onto here. Go into point and direction, negative 90, and put that there. And after that, go into your car sprite, and click and drag this forever loop into sprite two, or your track just like that, and let go. And then click on your sprite two, and you'll see it pop up. And then just put this on the bottom of here. And after that, go into events, grab a one green flag click block, and put that there. After that, go into control, grab a forever block, and then grab an if then else block, and put this inside the forever block. And then right click and duplicate this block right here that says key left arrow or key A pressed. Change key left arrow to up arrow or key change A to a W just like that. Then drag it inside the if portion of this if then else block. And then put it on the one green flag click block just like that. And inside the if portion grab a if then else block and put this inside the if portion. And then for the blank portion, just go to operators, grab an or block. And then on the left side, grab a equals block and put that there. And on the right side, grab a less than block and put that right there. And then go into variables and grab a speed variable block and put this on the left side of the equals block. And then where the 50 is, just put 10 and then grab another speed variable block and put this where the 50 is on the less than block. And on the left side of the less than block, put 10. After that, grab a set, change this to speed to 10, and put this in the if portion. And then in the else portion, grab a change, change this to speed by 0.3. And then after that, go into control and grab a wait 0 seconds block. And put this under the change speed by 0.3, but inside the else portion. And this script is the gas. So every time you hold W, the car speeds up. But there's a cap of how fast the car can go. And that is 10. And 10 is basically just 10 steps. And once you're done with that, just duplicate this if then else block with the speed variables and put this here. And then change this change speed by 0.3 to negative 0.5. And then change all these 10s 
to a zero, and then drag it inside the else portion. And this part is for the card losing speed. And what this is saying is if the up arrow or W key is not pressed, aka the gas, then it will slowly decrease the speed until it gets to zero. And if the speed is zero, it will set the speed to zero. And now there's a few final things to code in this script. And once you're done with that script, go into event and grab a one green flag click block. And then go into control and grab a forever loop. And then go into motion and grab a move 10 steps block. And then go into operators and grab a minus block and put this where the 10 is. And on the right side of the minus block, put the speed block variable, just like that. And on the left side, put a zero. And this game is an optical illusion. How it works is the track is moving while the car is just turning. And that script allows the track to move. And after you're done with that script, all you want to do is start the project and find a good starting point for your car. And here's my starting point. And once you think you found a good starting point, go into the track sprite, go into motion, grab an XY block, and plug in the coordinates from the track sprite into the XY block. Also, make sure this go to XY block is below all this costume script. Finally, in the else portion, all you want to do is remove this wait 0 seconds block, but make sure to keep it in the if portion. And now there's one final script to code in the car sprite, and this script is to slow the car down when it touches grass. Grab a one green flag click block, and then grab a forever loop block, and then grab a if then block. And inside the if then block, all you want to do is go to sensing, grab a touching color, click on the color, and grab the color picker tool, and select the color of the grass. After that, go back into control and grab a if then else block, and inside the if portion, go to operators and grab a or block, and grab one equals block and grab one less than block. Then go into variables and grab a speed block and put this on the left side of the equals block and put this on the right side of the less than block, and change the 50 on the equal side to a 3, and change the blank spot of this less than block to a 3. Then grab a set, make sure this is in the if portion, speed to 3. And in the else portion, grab a change, changes to speed by negative 0.2. And then go into control and grab a wait 0 seconds block and put this under the change speed by negative 0.2 block. Finally, drag this inside the if then loop. So now it should be looking like this. And that's it for this video. If you want a part 2, make sure to drop a sub and a like. Anyway guys, peace out.